Welcome to Centurius's video training series. Today, we will be showing you how to make a conditional drill through in IBM Cognos Report Studio. Centurius offers a full curriculum of Cognos courses, all led by IBM certified experts with extensive field experience outside the classroom. This video highlights the expertise of our instructors and is a small segment of a more comprehensive recording which is available for free on the Centurius website. Let's get started. Uh, so the next technique is, is one that's, uh, you know, I call conditional drill through. And it was a requirement that a client had brought uh, to us and said, you know, we want to drill through on these different rows, but only certain rows should have drill through and the others should not. And so I thought about using a conditional block to do that and it actually worked really well. So I want to show this technique. Um, it's a pretty basic concept. All I'm trying to do here is create a, a list of retailers and their overall performance and then only certain retailers in that list. So that's going to be my kind of parent summary report should be available to drill to more detail. And my criteria for that is that any retailer that has at least ten million dollars in total revenue should have a drill through those that don't should not. And here's how I'm going to manage my conditional drill through. In this cell, in this column body, are my retailer name data items, obviously. So I'm going to actually use this conditional block. So I've unlocked the cell so I can drag something into this cell along with that data. I'm going to drag a conditional block into there. Conditional block is going to be based off of the variable that I just created, which is, I didn't give it a good meaningful name, which I should have, but just a Boolean variable that I just defined. Revenue greater than 10 million. It either is or it isn't. And so when I set the block variable to associate to that Boolean, revenue greater than 10 million, it's currently saying that this is what the block will contain if the outcome of that is false or no. And what I want in there is I still want the retailer name, I just don't want it to be hyperlinked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this data item here, and I'm going to paste it into the no state of the conditional block, just a standard retailer name, just like it was before. Then I'm going to click the conditional block, and I say, well, what if it's true? What if the re uh, retailer's revenue is greater than $10 million? So I set the current block state to yes true. And again, it says, well, you haven't defined contents for that state, so it goes back to being empty. And I say, well, what I want then is I want the same data item, but I want that data item to have a drill through defined for it. And so I'm going to go and add a drill through pointing at my demo to target report. Uh, I'll just have that open in a new window. That's kind of my preference. And then the parameter that I want to point at it is the retailer name. So the target report has this parameter. I want to pass a data item to that parameter. And the data item that I'm going to pass from the source is the retailer name. So I'm just pointing my retailer name column here to the retailer name parameter in the target. Uh, that should be clean there. And that's it as far as the drill through goes. Now, this is defined as a drill through. So when the current block is set to yes, I want the drill through text in there. Okay, so just to kind of review. If I look at my conditional block, when this is true, this is what text sits in that block. And then when this is false, I'm still seeing retailer name. It's just not going to be available for drill through. I'm going to go ahead and lock the cells. Run this as HTML. So here you can see the revenues, and wherever it's more than 10 million, I see the drill through. Open in a new window. My target report should be, again, passing this value. So I'm seeing just this one retailer. Now I'm seeing all their details. And so you can see I have few hundred retailers, so I've got several pages, but you can see the conditional drill through is doing its thing, allowing me to 
only drill on retailers in this case that meet that particular condition. So a pretty powerful technique if that's something that you're trying to do because again, that's a several hundred uh, retailer long list and I don't necessarily want people going and having the ability to drill on details for every one of them for whatever reason. And there can be a number of reasons why you want to control the drill through at that kind of level. We hope you enjoyed this Cognos training tip. Centurus offers a full range of Cognos training solutions. Everything from regularly scheduled online courses to one-on-one -on -one mentoring. For more information on expert-led Cognos training, contact Centurus.